A couple things that come to mind is, first off, making sure you have the right people at the table when you're making the decision to go to cloud. Um, I understand a lot of times in government that you have a certain program and they say, you know what, I want to use this innovative technology, but really setting up that procurement for success and inviting the security team from the agency into the mix, inviting the business or the mission owner into the mix, having also the contracting officer or the privacy officer as well to have a more informed conversation on how to make that buy as effectively as possible is, is absolutely key and a, is a lesson learned that we've taken and that we um, help evangelize to all of our agency partners. Um, the other one from an agency standpoint in working with industry is we really encourage agencies to understand the data types that they want to transition to the cloud. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to security, when it comes to the baselines that we prescribe, uh, we go through an exercise that's called FIPS 199. And basically, simple exercise, just categorizing that data and figuring out, okay, what kind of protections do I need? Do I need uh, 125 protections or do I need 421 security protections? And that has a that's very important because as you're translating those requirements to the cloud service provider, the cloud service provider is then going to have to meet those requirements. So there's a lot of considerations that they are going to have to do on their end or potentially technically um, uh, ensure their environment meets those security requirements that providing that to industry early and often is certainly a best practice. Yeah, 